Doug Smith, Family Friendly Canine Dog Training in Northern California. So this is a follow-up to our first prong collar video for the do-it-yourself dog training series that we're doing. And just want to show you how to appropriately fit a prong collar onto a dog prior to uh, going out and doing any work. So it's very, very important that it's fit properly and that, um, and that uh, it's secured properly as well. So we'll show you those two things. So you can see this is a 2.25 Herm Springer collar. Uh, I like the smaller one for him because he's a much smaller dog, obviously. So as I put this on, and I've got this from Herm Springer, what you'll notice is that it is really kind of big around him. We want this snug around his neck. So in order to do that, we're going to have to take out a couple of links. So I'll go ahead and take out, and we'll take out about three links. How you doing, big guy? All right. And... Now let's, uh, let's see if that's sized properly. Yeah. And we'll take out one more link here. And now as we pop that on there, looks like that's a good, good fit. We can still fit two fingers underneath the collar there. And then we just want to twist it around so that it's uh, high on the neck. Next thing we want to do is we always want to consider a dog's safety uh, in everything that we do. So we use these uh, carabiners. You can pick these up just about anywhere. And can you come here real quick? All right. Can you see uh, there's two different rings on the collar. You have what we call a D ring, which is kind of the uh, D shaped uh, ring here. And then you have sort of the, the oval or round ring here. Now the leash will connect to the D-ring, so we want to use this part of the leash, the round part, as our safety. So what we do is we will clip in right around the oval ring there and right around the dog's uh, collar here. All right. That way when we are um, walking him, if this were to come apart, then we still have uh, it attached to the collar itself and we haven't lost the dog. So really want to make sure that we stay safe and, uh, and make sure these uh, are fit properly. So again, part of this is that we're going to want this collar up nice and high, uh, just, below, uh, just below the dog's ears there for, for maximum fit and comfort, as well as control of the dog when we're using the e-collar. So that's how you fit and put on the, the prong collar again. Uh, to get it off and on, if I just push up here and and pinch, it will come off and back on again. All right, and there we go. Please make sure you use some kind of a safety device here on the dog's collar, uh, enable to enable the dog uh, to ensure that it's safe. All right, thank you so much. Next is a prong collar dance, and we'll show you how to get the dog used to the pressure of the prong collar and what that looks like and some of the foundation work that we do. Thanks, and uh, we'll talk to you later.